the top story today. At an uh, unemployment drive or a Rose Guard Mela, 75,000 appointment letters were distributed among government job aspirants. Prime Minister Modi called this a milestone and said that the centre is also working on multiple fronts to create maximum job opportunities for youngsters. But the opposition points out that these jobs fill existing vacancies. No new jobs have been announced. And as NETV's Priyanshi found out, that even those who got appointment letters during the Mela say that these recruitments are not new. The Prime Minister today launched the Rose Guard Mela, a recruitment drive to fill up vacancies in 10 lakh government jobs in the next year and a half. In the first batch, appointment letters were given to 75,000 appointees across states. Aaj, Mananiya Pradhan Mantri, Shri Narendra Modi ji, is Rosegaard Mele ka kar rahe hai, Shubh Aram. Aaj, Kendra Sarkar, Aajhadi ke pachatta vars ko dhyan me rakhte huye, pachatta hazaar yuvaon ko, ek karakam ke antargat, नियुक्ति पत्र दे रही है आने वाले महीनों में इसी तरह लाखों युवाओं को भारत सरकार द्वारा समय समय पर नियुक्ति पत्र सौंपे जाएंगे the prime minister has asked various ministries to conduct this recruitment in mission mode the new recruits selected from across the country will join 38 ministries or departments of the central government at various levels such as the central armed forces personnel, sub-inspectors, income tax inspectors, etc. But critics point out that these jobs fill existing vacancies. No new jobs have been announced. In fact, people who got appointment letters during the Rosegar Mela say that even these recruitments are not new. This offer letter was from NBCC email ke through bhi mila tha jo mujhe 30th september ko mila tha but kuch reasons ki wajah se mera document verification jo hai wo abhi pending hai to jab wo document verification jo hai wo mera complete ho jayega then finally wo mujhe jo joining hai wo de denge in many cases such as those of the ssc graduate level exam which is taken by almost 10 lakh students every year the recruitment letters handed over now are for exams that were conducted years ago and vacancies announced even earlier jiska result abhi offer letter aaya 2022 mein unke form bhare gaye the 2019 mein one of the reasons for the recruitment process taking so long was the pandemic so, saal mein aaye sabse bade sankat ke side effects so din mein chale jayenge aisa na hum sochte hain na hindustan sochta hai aur na hi duniya anubhav karti hai the government says that the selection process for government jobs has now been simplified and expedited ssc coaches say that the situation has indeed improved आजकल क्या है कि करीबन करीबन सर एक वीक के अंदर अंदर आंसर किया जाती है उसका रिजल्ट प्रॉपर टाइम पे आ रहा है और ऑफर लेटर वगैरह भी टाइम लिए अब चल रहे हैं जब से एसएससी के चेयरमैन बदले हैं द रोजगार मेला कम्स एट अ टाइम व्हेन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हैज बिकम अ पॉपुलर डिस्कोर्स एन इशू यूज्ड बाय द ऑपोजिशन टू कॉर्नर द गवर्नमेंट द एम्प्लॉयमेंट अनाउंसमेंट्स आल्सो कम अहेड ऑफ द क्रूशियल गुजरात एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश असेंबली इलेक्शंस the 75,000 appointment letters and the promise of 10 lakh government jobs by next year are all filling up existing vacancies. It is a great step indeed, but experts believe that considering the growing population of India, more jobs need to be created. A McKinsey report says that by 2030, India needs 9 crore new non-farm jobs to absorb the growing workforce. In New Delhi with camera person Prem Singh, Priyanshi Sharma for NDTV. And in an eyebrow-raising move, the Gujarat Home Minister announced that there will be no fines for anyone violating traffic rules in the state for the next week. Now, this comes in uh, the Diwali week and ahead of elections due by the end of the year in which the BJP hopes to retain its decades-old hold on the state. So, we've gone from a fine for violating traffic rules to violating traffic rules are just fine. A dangerous Diwali the marker, taking bravery culture into fifth gear. Here's a report. 
It's the beginning of a long festive week in Gujarat with people out on the streets doing last minute shopping and driving to and from parties. Traffic will be heavy. Yet in a bizarre announcement, the Gujarat government has said no one will be fined for violating traffic rules from 21st October till the 27th. Citizens question the logic of this announcement. Traffic के rules तो बोले करना है लेकिन अभी इतना सारा बोझ है तो सरकार ने अच्छा किया कि भी traffic का जो भी दंड है वो नहीं लेते हैं तो उसे अच्छा अच्छा ही है ना और ज़्यादा होगा और ज़्यादा problem होगी हम्म मतलब अभी government आराम में है थोड़ा तो गुजरात government का निर्णय अच्छा है लेकिन वो follow करे तो अच्छी बात है there have been strong reactions from the opposition too questioning the decision ahead of the state polls AIMIM leader Asaduddin Owaisi has tweeted saying in 2021 Gujarat saw 15200 road traffic accidents in which 7457 people lost their lives this ravedi bonanza by BJP Gujarat government is putting people's lives at risk according to 2021 Gujarat government ambulance data 2360 road accident cases were recorded from Diwali to Bhaiduj last year that is from November 4th to 6th 2021 road accidents went up by 83.73% last Diwali four wheeler accidents were up 162.96% last Diwali compared to the previous year two wheeler accidents were up 95.39% last Diwali in comparison to normal days Gujarat government's decision to not charge fine from those who violate traffic rules till the 27th of October in the state is not going down well even with the citizens of the state. This is perhaps one of the most bizarre decisions ever taken by any state government during the festive season. I am Tarushri Pandey reporting from Gujarat for NDTV. And now, shock of Amjarkand, a horrific incident where an incident of gang rape has been reported from Jharkhand's Chaibasa. A software engineer was allegedly gang raped by a group of uh, men, and the police have registered an FIR against 10 accused. An SIT has been formed to probe the case. Raids are being conducted to arrest the accused. No far, no arrests have been uh, have taken place. The incident took place around 7 p.m. The young woman stated that on the evening of the 20th, she had gone out with her friends, with a friend. She was, uh, they were having a conversation on the roadside. Some uh, nine to ten people came up. They first beat up the two, forcefully took the woman to a secluded place and raped her. No arrests have been made so far. The authorities say that raids are being conducted to arrest the accused and in an investigation is underway. जो पीड़िता है उनके द्वारा बताया गया कि परसों शाम की घटना है और उनके बयान के आधार पे प्रथम उनका चिकित्सीय उपचार कराया गया और उसके बाद महिला पुलिस पदाधिकारी के द्वारा उनका बयान लेकर कांड तिवरित कर अगलतर कार्रवाई की जा रही है सहायक पुलिस अधीक्षक के नेतृत्व में एक एस का गठन किया है और जिसमें विभिन्न बिंदुओं पर अनुसंधान जारी है and on the heels of a reported horror in a hospital where uh, uh, the hospital was allegedly passing off sweet lime juice or mosambi juice as platelets to a dengue patient who later died, the police in UP's Prayagraj have now arrested 10 men for allegedly selling blood plasma as platelets to families of dengue patients. These 10 men, the police say, were taking plasma from blood banks repackaging them as platelets both are components of blood but they used to treat different ailments with platelets being high in demand in dengue cases